What's up, guys? Matt back from Matt Mines Crypto, and I'm excited per usual because I received another package in the mail. And what I get today, Woo. we got the Kytera SynthEdge Mini. So uh, what this is, it is a air quality control monitor. And uh, what it does is it um, monitors air quality and provides data. And as a result for providing the data, you get rewarded in uh, the Planet Watch token. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is a uh, typical unboxing and fill you in on exactly what it does, how it works and what you can expect to earn with one of these bad boys in your home. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, uh, we're back. We're gonna hop right into this. Uh, I wanna get started by explaining exactly uh, what this project is, uh, what this does, and uh, and just uh, give you some details and information about it. So uh, like I said, I got the Kytera Sense Edge Mini. Um, it's a device that works with uh, Planet Watch uh, and it provides uh, air quality data to them. And uh, as a result, you earn Planet Watch tokens. So I'm gonna do a quick screen share here uh, and explore their website uh, because that's where the best information is on it. Obviously, uh, I'm on planetwatch.us. If you're based in the United States, you're gonna uh, utilize a planetwatch.us. If you're not in the United States, you're gonna utilize a planetwatch.io. So I'm on planetwatch.us and you'll see, look after the air you breathe, uh, earn rewards and help us build a global air quality monitoring network to detect pollution hotspots and protect everyone's health. So like I said, uh, they want to be able to combat air pollution and they need data in order to do that. Um, and they provide you with their token for providing that data. It's uh, literally as simple as that. Uh, they have some neat partnerships with some companies and organizations. Uh, they explain why to become a planet watcher. They talk about the importance of air pollution and how many people it kills uh, every year. And um, there's too few air quality sensors on the ground, uh, which is why this project exists. Uh, how do you get involved with this project? So they say it's a simple three steps process, right? Uh, you need to get a planet watch compliant sensor. Like I keep saying, I got the Kytera Sense Edge Mini. Uh, you'll learn this is a type three device. They have four different types of devices. Um, I'll go into a little bit more detail uh, on in a second. Uh, so you get a Planet Watch compliant sensor. Uh, you purchase a Planet Watch license. You need to have a license in order to run these uh, sensors. And then you simply just uh, set up and activate the device. Um, this is a little bit untruthful from my experience. Uh, step one and two were reversed. I needed to get the license first and then uh, I was able to get the sensor and you'll, you'll see in a second. So if you go back to the top, you'll go to buy buy sensors, like they said, step one is to buy sensors, right? So you'll see that they have multiple types, type one, type two, they have a type three and two type fours. So they, they break it down more. Type one, it's a little bit more expensive. It does earn a little bit more, uh, but like I said, in order to buy it, you first need to purchase suitable license and join the waiting list. So there's obviously a pre-order for that one. Type two, uh, these devices are no longer available. This is the one that I got right here. Uh, let me just read what it says that it is. Uh, so it's a compact, simple to install, reliable device which connects to Wi-Fi networks and streams data to Planet Watch for temperature, humidity, particulate matter, uh, VOC, and CO2. So the SenseEdge Mini is a reset grade B certified device, which means that its data can be used to compare indoor air quality in different venues across the world. So uh, it reads uh, multiple different uh, data points in regards to air quality and um, simple, compact and uh, easy to set up supposedly. So it cost me $649. And like I said, uh, in order to buy it, you first need to purchase a suitable license, license and join the waiting list. So um, that seems to be just truth. Uh, this one's sold out uh, and this one, is, it looks like it is available. So uh, you can buy this one first before getting the uh, license. But uh, from my experience with this Sense Edge Mini, I had to buy the license first. So how do you do that? Simply go to license and you'll see that they have uh, one, two and three year licenses. So uh, for a one year license, it's gonna be $60, two years, $90 for a three year license is $120. Um, for some odd reason, I only bought the two year license. I don't know why I picked that. Uh, I wish I picked the three year because the more research I've done, I realized how quickly this device uh, becomes profitable and I'm gonna wanna keep it running for multiple years. So uh, I don't know why I did that. Just a uh, weird, weird thing that I did, but uh, 
So that's the information there. Um, if you want uh, more details, I'm not gonna go too much into it, but I would check out the About Us white paper. Um, it's a, a fairly lengthy, it's a 67 pages, but they do break down what the uh, exactly different types of devices do, one, two, three, and four, and then uh, the types of rewards you can expect uh, to receive for those type of devices. And you can see that there's different tiers and uh, each type provides a different uh, amount of reward. Uh, but I just want to show you that they do have a, a very um, a very detailed white paper uh, that explains literally everything and uh, they do a nice job. So. Uh, now that you have an idea of what it is, uh, let's uh, hop into what's inside the box. All right, so this is the box it comes in. Uh, it's in a sleeve right now. We'll take it out of the sleeve. There we got the box without the sleeve. You can see how it's positioned there. And per usual, I'll take everything out and then I'll do a step by step on what's exactly in the box. All right, we got all the contents out of the box here. Uh, you see the box is empty right now. They gave us a set of direction, the manual. Uh, they gave us a bunch of options uh, for outlets, um, which connect to this piece right here, which is the plug with the cord for the plug. Gives us a little uh, baggie. It looks like it says, after first use, seal the module in this bag. Uh, looks like it's just a storage bag. It's a special bag. Uh, I'm guessing the sensor is um, some type of technology that needs to be protected like that. Then you got the actual device right there, which I'll break down in a second. A couple of the sensors. Looks like the particulate matter sensor and the TVOC. Not sure what that means yet. A couple of mounting brackets and hardware. And uh, yeah, so this is everything that comes within the box. All right, just want to give you a quick closer look at the actual device itself. You can see there's a plug there, a USB-C port for uh, plugging into the wall. I did loosen the top so I can easily take it off. Some vents for cooling, I'm assuming. And like I said, you can take the top off. I loosened it. Two areas right here for the sensors to go in. Uh, you have an on off button, a reset, status light. And then on the back side here, you'll see this is where uh, you would end up putting the mounting bracket if you utilized it, along with the ethernet port. And then you can hardwire it, uh, direct wire it right there. So. This is the device, this is what it looks like, and uh, yeah. All right, now that we saw the contents of uh, uh, what's in the box, uh, let's get into the juicy details, right, that we're all looking for. Uh, what the uh, order timeline looks like, and then of course, profitability expectations. So, um, do I share my screen yet? I don't wanna ruin the, uh, the, the um, profitability numbers yet. I'm not gonna share just yet. So, uh, my order timeline. Uh, so from the time it took me to obviously order my type three license first, uh, to be able to receive the email to order my sense, uh, edge mini, uh, from Kytera was 57 days. Exactly. Uh, so just under two months from when I ordered my type three license to getting the ability to order my device, uh, two months, uh, from that point when I was able to order my, uh, Kytera sense edge mini, um, uh, to receive the device, it was an additional 14 days. Uh, so from start to finish, from starting to order my type three license to being able to order the device and then receiving the device, it took a total of uh, two and a half months, uh, give or take a couple of days. So um, that's how it played out for myself. Uh, what their timelines are right now as we speak, uh, I couldn't find that information anywhere, uh, but I did just receive this within the last uh, couple of weeks. So um, I'm, be surprised if numbers were, were fluctuating that much from how I received it. But let's get into profitability and how much these things should earn. All right. So you can see my screen here. Um, so we start with the cost, right? So the cost, uh, all in cost was uh, $769 total. The sensor itself was $649. Uh, the three-year license was $120. So that uh, adds up to a total of $769. Uh, what it costed me to get involved with this process. 
Um, I want to touch on electricity usage. Uh, it's very, very minimal to have this device plugged in and uh, working for you. Uh, the power consumption is just 10 watts. Uh, so I want to show you how I get these numbers. What I do is I go over to uh, rapidtables.com and they have an energy cost calculator. Uh, so you select your country. Uh, obviously, I said it's, it's 10 watts of uh, power consumption. Uh, it's running at all times. So I put 24 hours a day it's running. And then I go to my electric bill and I find that I spend uh, 12 cents uh, per kilowatt uh, through my electric company. So I input that, calculate, and you'll see that this device costs me uh, just under three cents a day, uh, just over eight cents a month, and uh, a total of $10.51 for the year to run this device. So it's essentially minimal, especially when you look at how much this thing's gonna be earning us. So it brings us down to earnings, right? So this uh, type three device, uh, this Sense Edge Mini, earns 30.87 planets per day. And where I got that from was the white paper uh, from Planet Watch. So I took a screenshot because uh, the PDF was uh, fluctuating for me. So I hope you can see this. It has all three types of sensors in their white paper and exactly what they're gonna earn for running and providing the data of the air quality. So obviously we're dealing with the type three, uh, Kytera Sense Edge Mini. Uh, so this is the only column we need to look at right here. And uh, total max rewards that it allocates a day is 38.59. Um, within that max rewards, 80% goes to the miner uh, the person providing the data and 20% goes to uh, Planet Watch. Uh, so that's uh, this number down here. 80%, which is what's coming to me, is going to be 30.87 planets per day. So that's where I got that number from, the white paper. You can explore it there, right, on planetwatch.us and uh, look up the white paper. Um, I want to go over to here. So, like I said, the earnings is uh, 30.87 planets a day. Uh, the current value of planets right now is about 37 cents. You can see here, I got on coingecko.com planets. It's at 37.5 uh, cents uh, as we speak. So it's just simple math, right? The daily earnings, there's the math, is going to be $11.42 a day. That adds up to $343 a month, uh, which adds up to just over $4,100 a year in annual earnings. Uh, so that makes the break even point at 67 days. So uh, just over two months, uh, this miner is breaking even, uh, which I think is fantastic. Um, it gets me excited. Uh, let me stop screen sharing here. So the profitability excites me big time because uh, just over two months to be able to break even is awesome. And that, once again, I, I want to put this disclosure in. Um, if the price goes up uh, for planets, uh, obviously that condenses the time that this becomes uh, more profitable and the break-even point uh, becomes sooner. If the price of planets decreases, it just extends that period of time with how long it's going to take for this to break even and uh, become more profitable. So uh, put that disclosure in there. Uh, it could go up, could go down. I'm not sure. But uh, right now, as we speak, it takes 67 days. I'm excited about that because one, it's super profitable. And two, it's a cool project uh, that is really giving back and trying to make a difference in the world and in the planet. So uh, with that said, I want to go get this bad boy set up so that it's earning planets and it's uh, providing data to Planet Watch. Uh, so please, if you got value on this, make sure you like below. Uh, and then if you want earnings updates, I'm going to be doing earnings updates on this exact miner every uh, 30 days. So make sure you subscribe below as well uh, so that you get alerts whenever I uh, upload a new video. So with that said, we'll catch you guys on the next one.